La Liga team of the season was released last night and I was so close to buying Griezmann and I couldn't physically press the button for 1.8 million and thankfully I didn't because I want to speak about that in just a second. The two Atletico Madrid gods that I did purchase though, Felipe Luis and Carrasco, we're going to find out if they're worth the coins. Make sure to leave a like, 2000 would be absolutely fantastic. If you're needing game codes or anything game related, head over to g2a.com, use the code Fuji for cash bag and let's get into it. So last night guys, I was literally monitoring the market for about two and a half hours waiting for Griezmann to drop in price slowly but surely he was going up and I missed a couple at 1,760,000 bin I even placed a bid at 1,888,000 and it got outbid. I'm so pleased that it did because if we look at Griezmann's card, yes, he looks fantastic. Compare him to Lacazette, you can compare the two cards, but there is only one winner and Lacazette is coming out on top. He beats him in every single stat and what Lacazette is good at is the physical power to burst through. He's got the strength over Griezmann and if we look at the weak foot as well, they're both five foot nine, four star weak foot, four star skill moves and with Griezmann, he has the three star weak foot. So. I know who I'd want in my team and it is Lacazette and I'm so happy that I got him for 1.6 million and if we look at Griezmann's price he's 1.8 like okay he's not selling for 1.8 and I'm not surprised man he's he's not worth that amount of coins look at what he's been doing for me 19 games 18 goals 10 assists the best striker in the game. I've tried Team of the Year Suarez. I've tried Team of the Year Suarez. And what Suarez has over Lacazette is obviously the power, the um, the height as well to win those uh, the battles in the air. With Lacazette though, he is better on the ball. So it depends what you're looking for. Obviously, Suarez is one of the best strikers. If you're wanting that burst away power, then he's going to provide that. Lacazette though is a little bit more technical and I love him for that. So let's drop um, Lacazette back to the striker position and let's even compare Carrasco to Griezmann. Look at this. You can get this guy for a fraction of his price. He beats him for pace. Shooting is very similar. Passing pretty much exactly the same and his dribbling is identical and Carrasco what's he been doing 15 games 12 goals 2 assists and I've been using him in three different formations the 4-2-3-1 well actually to the lie 4-2-3-1 and I played him as a left attacking mid then I used him as a cam in that formation and then eventually got around to using the 4-3-2-1 like you see in the 4-3-3 but I had to use that to keep chemistry I wasn't playing the 4-3-3 attack it was a little bit too attacking uh, last night for me so yeah Carrasco I bought him for 584,000 coins very good purchase how does he play in game we got to find out and the other signing was Felipe Luis and he has taken over Bremer man someone was saying why don't you you use the Hunter Chem style could do um, to get a little bit more out of his shooting but I just stuck on the shadow because it's more to do with the defender so yeah his pace isn't that much of an issue 330,000 coins and what I like with Felipe Luis is the height that six foot really does come in handy so yeah that's the team guys I was using uh, these custom tactics uh, 60 pressure 55 aggression I am not comfortable defending and last night the gameplay in the weekend league was horrendous for me and it's annoying because I've got all these team and season cards and I just literally want to enjoy myself win or lose just let me enjoy the game but anyway divisions uh, wasn't so bad so you're gonna be seeing highlights from both the weekend league and also um, the division matches so let's get into some clips find out if Carrasco and Felipe Luis are worth the coins let's go to the pitch so I did apply the architect chemistry style on Carrasco to add to the physical and passing the rest of his stats you don't need to touch team of the season worthy and when I had him in the 4-2-3-1 narrow formation playing as the left attack in mid he was fantastic offering good width and support to my team I was wanting to get him on the ball a little bit more so then I moved him to the middle of the pitch in the same formation and that's when I started to feel the playmaking from Carrasco the pace the speed of his dribbling and it was incredibly fun to use 5 foot 11 so he's not small and he definitely isn't weak it wasn't until I moved him to the left forward position in the 4-3-2-1 formation, that's when he came alive. Oh my. Play him left forward in the 4-3-2-1. That four-star weak foot across goal. I played with the um, inform cards and I actually really enjoyed him. His finishing for me was a little bit inconsistent. The team of the season has sorted it out. You are going to catch those shots properly. If you want to cut inside and pop a finesse, you're going to be able to do that. Outside the box, inside the box. And not to mention his dribbling. Let me tell you, this card, I haven't really experienced it as much 
much as I have with Carrasco, right? So if you think you're going to be able to take advantage of this, then big thumbs up. So when he exits out of skill moves, he gets a real burst. The acceleration, he will carry the ball. So instead of doing a roulette and keeping the ball close to your body like someone like Messi, he pops them and he can carry... It must be down to the acceleration. There is something about the card that is wanting to push the ball away from his body, which sometimes it might go against you. But if you're wanting to beat players for skill out on the wing... It is amazing. I managed to do a roulette and you'll see the distance that I got. Scoop turns as well and he's so delicate in front of goal. The finesse that you're going to get with the card. He's a beautiful player. Really good. Speed, absolutely brilliant. Thumbs up. You've got the dribbling there. Feels in incredibly smooth on the ball. His shooting is great. His passing, his physical. For 584,000 coins, I'm going to say he is definitely well worth the coins. He is fun. He makes the game fun. As long as it's a, a smooth connection, then you're going to really enjoy him. 15 games, 12 goals, 2 assists. And like I mentioned, I've tried him in a number of formations, different positions, and the best position for him is in that left forward spot because you're going to get a little bit more out of the counter-attacking ability to play balls over the top to him, the speed on the ball, his playmaking, his dribbling. He is... He is actually awesome. I am keeping him on the Rose of Glory account. Four star week for four star skill moves is just a bonus as well. And Felipe Luis has taken over Marcus Alonso that I didn't really get on with and Bremer. Felipe Luis feels great, but I want to continue playing with him. That height is, is the difference, really. He's winning balls in the air. He feels comfortable on the ball, pushing forward. I absolutely love him. But Carrasco is the star man in this team. He was killing it for me. And the link between him and Lacazette... Oh my, rest in peace to your opponent. Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. Would I say he's worth the coins? Yes, and I even think he's going to go up in price. He's amazing. Drop a like on the video, and I will see you soon. Team out.